Hi guys, the 25.6 version of Photoshop comes with a new adjustment brush tool. Brush that can extremely increase your productivity, but is that tool so good or not? Stay with me and I'll show you. First a quick review of the tool. It's located on the brush tab. Right click and here is the adjustment brush tool. If you don't see it, just go to edit toolbar. Restore defaults or drag it where you want. Here we have this drop down with brightness and contrast, exposure, vibrance, hue and saturation, black and white and pot filter, plus and minus for the masking. Overlay show us where we paint on the image, the size, the opacity and the flow of the brush. Let's start with this image and let's pick exposure and paint over the face. Let's zoom a little bit and now we can in decrease or increase the exposure on the painted area. The overlay shows us where we're painting. Let's add over the dress a little bit. Maybe here. And let's play with the exposure for a perfect result. Maybe somewhere here is good. Okay. It's very fast, it's very good, but why I think this future is more quality of life than a something new? That's because we can do the same thing with some other methods. Let me show you. Let's delete this layer and turn back to the regular brush. We can just go to select subject and create a new exposure adjustment layer and we, we can do the same thing with a perfect selection. That's why I think this is not something new, but let's see in what cases this brush will be helpful for us and when it's not. Let's go to the second example and let's say here, choose a brightness and contrast and let's make the sky looks way more dramatic. Let's paint over the sky. Let's decrease the brightness and increase the contrast. And now in just a couple of seconds, the sky looks way more better. In this case, the new adjustment brush tool is very helpful. We can work very fast on the skies. Uh, we can uh, benefits from, from the softness of the brush. Let's see the next example. Here we have a sunset. This time I'll pick a hue and saturation and just paint over the sunset. Perfect. In just a second. In this case, also the new adjustment brush tool is very helpful. But let's see the next one. Let's say we want to change the color of the shoes again with the hue and saturation option and let's paint over the shoes. Let me change the hue a little bit, maybe somewhere here, okay? And in this case, we have to be very gentle and will be a lot of time consuming to make a better and perfect selection. That's why I think in this situation, the new adjustment tool, it's not so good. We can do it with, uh, let me delete this layer and show you. With select, color range, Let's pick the red color with the plus picker. Let's add some variation of the reds, whites and dark. Let's set up the fuziness. Okay. And now just create a new hue and saturation adjustment layer. And we can change the color with a perfect selection. In this case, the new adjustment brush tool, it's not so good. Also, we have only these six options. Brightness and contrast, exposure, vibrance, hue and saturation, black and white, and photo filter. In the adjustment layer panel, also have uh, curves, levels, channel mixers. Maybe in some future updates, Adobe will add more options to the adjustment brush too, but time will tell. For now, I'm very happy with the new adjustment brush too. In a lot of cases, it can be very helpful and can improve our productivity, but we have to choose wisely when to use it and when not. 
I hope you liked the video, subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon.